Okay, let's do uh, a little demo. I'm going to add a package and it's going to be a very complex install. It's going to be the Group Policy Management Console. I'm going to find that uh, in my scripting framework if I've got it somewhere. Oh, yes, okay. to the source. Oh yeah, there is actually a 30, use a 32-bit version uh, because the Citrix server is a 32-bit. So adding the package, uh, just for the moment I won't add any parameters, so I'll say no to that. And that's created it. So here we have it. Now, ah, just before I do that, this is my this is my prod farm to two servers and actually a dedicated uh, zone data collector that doesn't uh, provide any applications and this is the development area I've got test server packager some profilers uh, probably profile fifty percent of my applications these days and fifty percent I just install with a quiet basic uh, silent install plus registry configuration afterwards. Anyway, we're going to the test uh, server, which is this one, and going to add remove programs. And where we should see uh, group policies, Microsoft group policy, that's clearly not in there. Great, so let's go back to installation manager. Now we're going to actually install the package just going to install it to our test one just in fact we would do this all on a separate test farm um, I've actually got these Citrix servers in the same farm which is actually poor practice so strictly speaking this should be um, a different farm it means I'd have to go to a different console it's, it's being reasonably practical I say an enterprise generally your test farm should be a separate farm so you don't mess anything up obviously just going to the just using the Citrix test I will definitely schedule it now um, there is something I want to check just go into my Citrix receiver and the plugin and connection center I'm just checking just to see if we've got anything on the test we haven't that's good force reboot after job Generally speaking, applications don't require a reboot these days, and generally speaking, Citrix hotfixes do require a, a reboot. You don't actually have to check that. It knows the hotfix will pass a flag or something to the installation manager, and it will reboot it, so however you feel about that. So that's going to go start off. I wonder if I can just click in to see if there's any action, see if we can spot it installing it. I can also at this stage uh, what can I do? I can go to the summary and let's have a look at the job. It's pending. That's interesting. Didn't expect that. Why would that be pending? Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Now it started. You saw a little blip there. Um, I won't flick away. Let's see what we've got. See a little bit. Said it started. Okay, obviously something's happening there because there's nothing else on it. I'll just probably have a quick look at the. Uh, it's probably quite quick, so it's probably finished. Still says it started. Uh, we so we saw the I saw the MSI exec a moment ago. It still says it started. It doesn't take very long, so. Uh, I'd expect that to finish about now. Interesting. Job results. Oh, success. Okay, I was just a little bit impatient there. Sorry about that. So success. And so, do we believe it? Let's just do a refresh of and remove. And there we have it. It's in there. Good news. Okay, that was somewhat trivial uh, and a success, which is uh, we learn more from our mistakes, obviously. 
but I could go in job details uh, job details down here and this is actually the MSI log so it actually puts the correct parameters on the end of the uh, MS uh, on the on end of the MSI so for instance if there's a failure there you could probably sort it out this isn't fantastic because there's no way of searching and if you've ever read uh, MSI logs you probably need a bit more of a uh, width and you need to be able to, you need to be able to search normally for fail something like that so I'll just show you where else we can look let's just go to uh, the test server we're just going to have a look at the application log because the MSI installer will uh, remove or completed oh yes because I did that before and now this is the one that's just been added um, a moment ago so if there's an if there is an error with the installation it'll say uh, failed in here and the next step would be to look at that to get the native log which I think is far more useful you need to go to let's go here I'm going to go to the test server C drive and you know it's so long since I've done this just don't use the installation manager as much as I ought to uh, it's definitely going to be Citrix installer log so not totally intuitive and it'll be the last one and that's more like it and again you go to the end and you don't even be looking at the ones that have failed generally so let's go to the top so my favorite search string is fail as you can see you can still get fail within the file but that's uh, failure equals zero so that's the opposite isn't it that's a success okay not surprisingly there isn't any more fails there are other things you can search for um, apart from fail but that, that's where it is and that's fairly useful to know